Hello, my oily friends. This is Gina Moore, and I'm so excited to share with you today some helpful hints and tips about holding an in-home workshop. All right, so first of all, why would you run an in-home workshop? Well, these are a great way to give an introduction to the beautiful oils that we have and the products that we have in our range. It's also a really great way to get started. So you might be a brand new member and you've just received your premium starter kit and you can't wait to share it with the world. Um, it's a great way to just invite family and friends and neighbours and so on over and just showcase your beautiful premium starter kit. Talk to people about why you loved it. You know, why, what did you see in this um, for yourself and for your family and why you want to share it with other people. So just keeping it really simple. In-home workshops are a great relaxed way in, in the comfort of your own space to be able to share some incredible um, health and wellness products in our range. So, you know, there are ways that you can do your, um, your workshops. I love to theme them. So you might want to theme them with things like, um, you know, a, a summer holidays workshop or a, you know, Christmas gift giving workshop, essential oils 101, you know, low tox, chemical free living in your household. Um, but whatever it is, you know, come up with a list of different theme ideas for yourself, for your workshops. And that way that helps your guests to know exactly what you're going to be covering that day. And also for you to stay on topic and stay on task and, um, and just showcase that at that particular workshop because then you've got a list of a number of other ones that you can follow through with in the weeks and months to come all right and you can keep having these and they're so much fun all right it's a really affordable way for people to get started to showcase these um, to everybody they know all right so in-home workshops are probably my favorite way to present um, our beautiful product range to friends and family all right, so attracting more people to come to your workshop. There are a few different ways that you can do this, but nothing beats this. <laughs> now, I don't mean shouting at the top of your lungs and, you know, calling out from the rooftops, but you can do that too if you want to. But what I mean is opening your mouth and actually doing personal invitations. Word of mouth and talking with people is by far the best way to connect and to invite. So if you are out and about, um, you know, you're seeing mums at school when you drop the kids off or pick them up, you're out doing the shopping, you're at the bank doing the banking, you're filling your car up with fuel, you're coming across people all the time. So the very best way um, to do invitations, I feel, is to talk to people. Right, so invite, invite, invite verbally. It's a beautiful way to do it, personal connection. Now you can back that up with a beautiful little printed invitation. So you can do a handwritten invitation and also hand that out to people as well. So a really lovely way. Now you've got also um, our social media way to um, you know, create an event on Facebook and tie it in with your in-home workshop, obviously. It's not a Facebook event or an online event, but it's more an event to show people and to tell people that this is what you're doing and you're having an in-home workshop. So you know, we have a number of different ways that you can invite, but I really urge you to do more than just one of those methods when you're doing your invitations. All right, they all really work well together to create the result that you want. And that result is to get enough people to come to your workshop that you can showcase everything to. All right, so presenting your workshop. Look, honestly, one of my favorite ways to present is simply this. And pass it round. <laughs> All right, so my best results from having in-home workshops have been when I've simply just passed oils around and let people do the smelling and then do the tasting because we've made dips and we've had some protein balls and everybody gets a little taste of Ningxia when they come to my presentations at home as well. So there is nothing better than to engage people's senses, you know, their, their taste, their sight, their smell and so on. Um, of course, there needs to be an element of 
fun in your workshops and fun can be as simple as you putting this on your face. <laughs> All right. So wear your smile. Um, you might be as nervous as can be. You know, I'm as nervous as can be right now doing this for you, but I've got this on my face. It may be a little bit of a nervous smile, but I'm still doing it. And when you smile, it makes other people smile. So you know, so have some fun with it. Um, I love the results that we get at um, in home workshops as well because I've often had people, like brand new people who have never seen any of Young Living products before and they've become customers just because they've smelt some oils and tasted some things. And oh my goodness, my wish list is like now this. You know, I really want some of these products. So they've become customers. Most of the time, my goal, though, is to help people to get these products in their homes at wholesale prices. So what better way than to become a wholesale member, right? So that's a really, really good um, result as well. And, of course, an even better result or the best result that you want is um, when people actually become members and they join on ER. Because, you know, at an in-home workshop, you can take the time to really talk with your guests and see where what are their needs, you know. It's that hear a need, fill a need. So you get to do that at your in-home workshops way more than what you do on a larger scale at big events, right. So personalising people's needs at an in-home workshop gives you sometimes the, the very best results um, when you're business building. Um, so that's probably my most successful moment I wanted to, um, to share with you, of course. And presenting is simple. You know, keep it really, really easy when you're actually doing your presentations. You want to be duplicable. Um, you want people to come to your workshops, look at what you're doing and go, wow, if she can do that, I can do that. All right, so keeping it really, really easy, really simple, and um, you know, still that element of professionalism there, of course, but just you know, keeping it really duplicable. All right, so some of my hot tips for you um, for having some in-home workshops. So these are probably my best tips for, for creating success, and I really want to um, I really want you to write these down because they honestly will make the very biggest difference to your business um, and how you're really getting your work, your workshops to grow. So often when we set a date for having a workshop or, or an event, we tend to want to gauge our friends and see when it suits them, who can come, how many can come, that sort of thing. So my suggestion to you, my number one hot tip is going to be set the date for your workshop that works for you, right? It needs to work for you. Above anything else, you. <laughs> You're holding this in your home and the time that it suits you and your family, right? And whoever can make it will make it. Um, and whoever's meant to be there will be there. So, but you've got to set it um, based on what works for you. So that's number one. All right, now inviting people and the number of people that you want to have coming to your home workshop. If you've set a number of say 10 would be a great number to have at my workshop, then I really urge you to invite three times more that number um, if you want 10 to attend, all right? So it's just a, it's rule of thumb <laughs> with any in-home presentations, workshops and so on, um, is that you need to invite three times more than what you have actually wanting to attend. All right, so definitely remember that one. Just invite as many people as you can. All right, and um, of, of course, keeping it really simple and duplicable. They're giving people the opportunity to, you know, to showcase or to try um, your showcase of products. So smelling, tasting, and so on. So engage people's senses, all right? That's a really big tip and my tip number three. So we've done set the date that suits you. We have invite three times more people than you want to fit in your house. <laughs> um, engaging people's senses. And my fourth tip for you is to enjoy it, all right? So have fun. Um, a workshop at home is such a wonderful introduction for people. And for you as maybe a brand new member, it is the very easiest, most affordable, relaxed way for you to kickstart your business. 
right? You may not go on to do really big events. Who knows? You may say, this is it. I love doing these. I'm going to do this forever and ever until I am Royal Crown Diamond. <laughs> you never know. Um, but you know what? If it works and you're feeling comfortable, then your passion is going to show. So you know what? Have a go. In-home workshops are just such a brilliant way. So I hope I've encouraged you enough to um, give you um, some, you know, some reasons why as well that in-home workshops are probably one of the very, very best ways to present your products and your business opportunity to people out there. It is um, fun, it's affordable, it's easy, and it is definitely a, um, you know, a great experience that you're providing to your um, attendees. All right, so I hope I've given you some um, excitement as well and I look forward to hearing all about your results and, um, and watching you fly to your, <laughs> your goals and, um, and enjoy every step of it. All right, take care, everyone. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.